Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on Dead Throne. In this episode we're going to be talking about the 4 plus rule. So what is it? The 4 plus rule was primarily made so that players don't have to wait on each other. As you can imagine there are up to 7 players in the game so that can involve a lot of waiting, especially with awesome battles and trying to figure out what items you want to buy and sell in the market. It can take quite a while. Now there are two situations where the um, 4 plus rule will be incorporated and that is battles between players and when players are in the market. Now, as the name says, it has to be four or more players in the game. And if there are four or more players in the game, then players can enter battles amongst each other and do so in their own bubble. So for example, these two players are battling amongst each other. The other two players that are out of the game can continue moving around as normal. So they roll their die, they take it in turns in the, in the same seating order. So for example, if there's one, two, three, four players, players one and three are in a battle, then two and four just play amongst themselves in the same clockwise direction. So this guy moves around as normal as he wants to, and then it's the turn of this person over here, and they go into the market. Now they are in the market, they are also in a bubble. These guys are battling, no one's caring about them, but this person is also in the market doing their own thing, buying and selling, however long it takes, it's up to, it's up to this person here. This person now is the only person who's outside of any bubble. These guys battling, mark it. Because they're the only person and they don't have to wait for someone else's turn, we say that you wait for about 15 seconds, count in your head about that before you move. Otherwise you're moving around a bit too much and it can cause a bit of, a bit of chaos. Um, so you wait for 15 seconds. After a few turns, this person comes out of the market and then you're back in the normal seating order um, rotation of the game. So let's say that one of these persons wants to join their battle. These guys have been battling for a while now, one of them's weak, and this character thinks that they can take them on and come in whilst they're all tired. So, rolls, makes the way over to the battle, pretty simple, now all three players are in a battle. In the battle, it's the same seating order, you take them turn by turn, whoever's, um, whoever's in that battle. Anybody else? is outside of the bubble. Remember again, 15 seconds, but eventually this person makes it all the way to the battle as well. And now there are four players in that one battle. So every player is taking it in turns in that battle. I'll touch more on battles later, but effectively they have created now one big bubble where they are all in the battle together. If one of them flees or if two of them die or whatever happens, then these guys exit the battle if it's died, then it stays out of the game for one turn. This person fled, so he's out, out and about. Now, these guys continue the battle and it all continues as normal. The one thing to remember is that if someone does die and leaves the game, can't respawn, then you are now in three players. So you can't use the four plus rule anymore. If you are in a battle, then you take it turn by turn in the normal seating order for example, player one, then player two, those guys are in a battle. Player three has to wait for them to finish their turn. Kind of like a like like it normally would be without the four plus rule. Now, as I've said, four plus rule, when, when there's a bubble, people can join ongoing battles. Multiple battles can be happening at the same time and everybody can come together to one big battle. And uh, it reduces the amount of time you're waiting around and it allows the game to flow in a more natural and realistic time frame. Which is a uh, which adds to the excitement.